Hello everyone. Welcome to Nesso Academy. In the previous lecture, we understood the fundamental data types in C++. Now we are in this lecture and the name of this lecture is Basics of IO Stream. From this lecture onwards, we will understand basic input-output operations. That is, we will learn how to perform basic input-output operations in C++. But in order to understand how to perform these operations, first we need to clear our basics about the I.O. stream. This lecture is dedicated to understand basics of I.O. stream. So without any further delay, let's get started with this lecture and let's see what are the topics. There is only one topic of this lecture and the name of the topic is basics of I.O. stream. So let's proceed further and let's understand what is an I.O. stream? I.O. stream is the name of both the library and the header file. The goal of this lecture is to understand the difference between these two. First, we will understand what is I.O. stream as the library. For this, first we need to understand what is a library in general sense. So, what is a library in C++? A library is a collection of pre-written code, usually written by experts. So think of a library as the collection of pre-written code, which is already written by someone for us. We do not have to write the code. We can directly use the code whenever we need to. For example, let's say we want to use STDC out. We can use STDC out directly without worrying about how it works behind the scenes. We already have used STDC out to print something on the screen. We used it because the code of STDC out is already written for us. We do not define the code for STDC out. There is no need to reinvent the wheel. We directly use STDC out in our code to print something on the screen. So, the code of STDC out is already written by some expert. Similarly, there are other objects as well. For those objects also, the code is already written. We can directly use those objects. The collection of all those pre-written codes is what we call a library. I hope this idea is clear to you. If it is not clear, then let me clear this concept with the help of an analogy. Think of a library as a toolbox, which is the collection of various tools. If we want, we can use a tool directly. There is no need to reinvent the wheel. That is, there is no need to build these tools from scratch. For example, if we want to use a hammer, then we can directly use hammer for a specific purpose. There is no need to build the hammer from scratch. So, hammer could be thought of as the pre-written code. And the library is the toolbox which has all the pre-written code or all the tools for the purpose of performing some operations. I hope the concept is now completely clear. What is the meaning of a library? Now let's move to the second point. The second point is standard C++ library has many libraries including IO stream. There is one big library called standard C++ library which is available to us. This library is the collection of many different libraries and one such library is the IO stream library. IO stream has tools to perform input and output operations. IO stream is the library which is the collection of tools that allows us to perform operations such as input and output. So with the help of IO stream library, we can perform input and output operations. Here, I stands for input, O stands for output, and stream means a sequence of characters to read or write. So, with the help of IO stream, we can use the tools which are input output tools that allow us to read or write characters. I hope this idea is clear to you. So, this is the meaning of IO stream library. It is the collection of input output tools which we can use in our code. We do not have to invent those tools. One such tool is STDC out, the other tool is STDC in, 
we have other tools available as well in this IO stream library. Now we know what is the meaning of IO stream library. Let's now understand what is IO stream header file. In order to understand IO stream as the header file, we first need to understand what is a header file. So, what is a header file? A header file is a file with declaration of tools. So, you can think of a header file as the file which contains many declarations of the tools of a specific library. Now, you might be thinking, why do we need a header file when we already have library? Library has all the code which we can use. Then, what is the concept of header file and why do we need it? There is one simple reason why we need header files and I would like to explain that. Header files are needed to avoid errors from the compiler. You know this already. If you want to use a specific code, then you need to define that code first. Let's say you want to use stdc out in your code. But the definition of the stdc out is not available in your code. It is available in the IO stream library. Now, how compiler knows that this specific code is available in the IO stream library? You are simply using stdc out in the code. The definition of that code is not available. So, how do we use stdc out? Compiler will generate an error in this case. Because stdc out is not defined in the current code. It is not defined in the code which you have written. So, this is the reason why we need header files. Through header files, we declare the tools which we want to use. So, there is one header file called iostream header file. If we want to use the stdc out tool, then we need to include the iostream header file because it has the declaration of stdc out. With the declaration, we tell the compiler that this tool is available in the iostream library. So, please compile my code and do not produce any error. So, if we want to use tools like stdc out, stdc in, then we need to include iostream header file. If we want to use other tools, then we need to include the appropriate header files before using those tools. Because those tools are not defined in the code we write. They are defined in the libraries which are already written. I hope the idea is clear to you. So, with this, we guarantee the compiler that the tools are available. Don't worry at all. Now, here is the second point. IOStream header file allows accessing the input-output tools defined in the IOStream library. In the IOStream library, we have input-output tools. If we want to use these tools, then we need to include IOStream header file. This is what I have mentioned already. Now, how do we include IOStream header file? We can include IOStream header file in our code by writing this line of code. Hash include IOStream. Through this command, we tell the specific preprocessor to include the IOStream header file in our code so that compiler will not generate error if we try to use the input-output tools in our program. So, with this, I hope it is clear what is the importance of IOStream header file and I hope with this it is also clear what is the difference between IOStream library and IOStream header file. IOStream library has all the input-output tools. This means it has the definition of the input-output tools. IOStream header file has the declarations of the input-output tools. We need to include IOStream header file if we want to use the tools which are available in the IOStream library. So, with this, we have understood the basics of IOStream and this means we are done with this topic and we are also done with this lecture. Okay, friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.